Rates of change are found by differentiating functions. So we normally consider the rate of change of y with respect to x, and that's dy by dx. But rates of change can also connect other variables. So, for example, the rate of change of volume, v, with respect to time, t, would be dv by dt. The rate of change of area A with respect to temperature T is dA by dt. So in this example we have P given in terms of R and so the rate of change of P with respect to R dP by dR is 6R. Now remember 5 over R is 5 r to the negative 1, so take 5, r to the negative 2, which we can rewrite as 6r, take 5, over r squared. This example has more of a context to it, so we've got a colony of bacteria, n is the number of bacteria present after the time t hours. So if we want to find the number of bacteria when t is 5, that just means substituting in a value of 5 for t. So the number of bacteria will be 250 plus 100t is 500 when t is 5, plus 50t cubed, so 50 times 125, 7,000 bacteria after five hours. In the second part of the question we're asked to find the instantaneous rate of change of n with respect to t. This is a cue that we need to differentiate n with respect to t. So whenever you see instantaneous rate of change then you need to differentiate. So we want dn by dt which is 100 plus 150t squared and in part c we want the rate at which the colony is increasing in bacteria per hour when t is 2 and when t is 10 so this just means substituting in the values of 2 and 10 into the instantaneous rate of change we found in part b so when t is 2 dn by dt is 100 plus 600, 700 bacteria per hour. And when t is 10, dn by dt is 100 plus 15,000. So altogether, 15,100 bacteria per hour. Just a few thoughts on average rate of change as opposed to instantaneous rate of change. Remember that the number of bacteria when t equals 5, so after 5 hours, was 7,000. So it would be tempting to look at that and say, OK, well, 7,000 bacteria after 5 hours, so the average rate of increase would be 7,000 divided by 5, which is 1,400 bacteria per hour. However, it's really important to note here that at the beginning the number of bacteria was not zero. To work out how many bacteria there were at the beginning we need to start with t equals zero and then n is 250. So that's sometimes referred to as n zero or the initial number of bacteria. So in actual fact, to work out the average rate of change of bacteria over the first five hours, we need to say, well, the number of bacteria increased from 250 to 7,000 in a space of five hours. So 1,350 bacteria per hour. Now that's the average rate of change 
over the first five hours. It's a bit like comparing the speed of a car at different times. You might be going one speed at a certain time, another speed at a certain time. You don't just take those two speeds, add them up and divide them by two to find the average speed over a period of time. To find the average speed, you work out the total distance travelled and divide by the total time it took. So in our case we're looking for the total increase in the number of bacteria divided by the total time. So another example would be earlier we worked out the rate that the colony was increasing in bacteria per hour when t equals 2 and when t equals 10 and it was 700 bacteria per hour after two hours and 15,100 bacteria per hour after 10 hours. So to find the average rate of change between t equals 2 and t equals 10, we need to compare the number of bacteria after 10 hours and the number of bacteria after 2 hours and divide that by the time difference, which in this case is 8 hours. So N10, the number of bacteria after 10 hours, means substituting 10 into the original equation. So there were 51,250 bacteria after 10 hours. And N2 is how many bacteria there were after 2 hours. 950 bacteria. So going back to our equation, the average rate of change is 51,250, take 950, divided by 8, 6,287.5. So after two hours the bacteria were increasing at a rate of 700 bacteria per hour, and after 10 hours 15,100 bacteria per hour. But on average between these two times, the bacteria increased at a rate of 6,287.5 bacteria per hour.